Exactly one year ago, I stayed with Andrew Wiltsey for two and a half months and learned some incredible passing techniques. Fast forward to today, I attended a jiu-jitsu retreat called Rolling in Tobago, where I faced some amazing opponents including Tyler Spangler, Jedi Does Jiu Jitsu, and many more. In today's video, we have Moody, a native Trinidad Tobago resident and a strong blue belt. Let's see if my knee cut spamming abilities can defeat his dangerous leg locks. As the round starts, I power up by shaking my ass and then I look for an angle against Moody. I start circling him to find an opening and as he sits up, I shoot onto a knee slice that nearly passes his guard instantly. However, he re-pummels his underhook, forcing me to find a different strategy. Still in the knee cut, I want to curve my elbow towards my chest and flare my arm out. This will negate his underhook. And then I also want to cup his opposite tricep to prevent him from framing against my hip or my leg, which could lead to him recovering. But unfortunately, none of that matters and he's able to force me back into headquarters. Now you'd think after that didn't work, I go back to the drawing board and try to re-strategize my passing attempts. But if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you know that I stick to spamming A on the controller and dive back in for another knee slice and meet the same problem as last time. However, after a few seconds of trying to force my way through with the knee cut, a thought comes to my head. It's 50% of the human body, like why would you ignore it? After realizing that I have zero idea what to do with leg locks, I stand back up and, you guessed it, shoot onto another knee slice. Except this time, I finally secure my underhook. On top of that, I land in a deep knee cut and for lack of a known name, I call this position Cloud Castle. This consists of my head ear to ear with my opponent, a high underhook flaring their elbow out, and my leg stapling their leg to the ground. One of the only options Moody has to defend himself is pushing my hips away using this arm. However, after this threat is neutralized, it's incredibly hard for him to recover. From here, I'll use float passing, hence the name Cloud Castle, to shift myself into mount. As Moody goes to turn on his side, I sit up and try to pocket my heel into his hip to try and stabilize myself on top. I try to move into S mount and Moody uses a knee and elbow escape to move me off of mount. He'll then trip me and starts attacking a heel hook. To defend heel hooks, I try to keep in mind to expose my back and free my knee from their hip line. I roll around for a few more seconds before finally kicking him in the face, allowing me to sit out to open guard. Moody immediately pressures into me, so I look to control his wrists and frame on his shoulders to prevent him from advancing upward. He switches up his passing style by going double unders and as he tries to throw my legs to the side, I frame against his armpit to buy myself a little bit of time and then recover by jabbing my leg back into the mix so my feet are back on the front lines of defenses. He sits back onto yet another leg lock, but I oil check him with my foot to prevent any of his buffoonery. As Moody sits back up into me, I look to hit him with my signature move, the hip bump triangle. However, he decides not to post and concedes to bottom position. Here, he falls victim to another barrage of knee slices. Even though I miss the underhook, I manage to sneak my foot out of quarter guard and then I'll drag my knee over for mount again. I try to chair sit out to his back, but I see an opening for the armbar, so I throw my leg over and hip in to finish an armbar. As we re-engage, I finally look to do something other than spamming the knee slice and try to work my outside Dana hair passing. However, I feel as though I was caught too high and Moody latches onto my leg. As I previously mentioned, to defend leg locks, I try to give my back to my opponent. However, that forces me to go to bottom. I'll attempt a couple of piss poor arm drags to try and get back on top, but a miracle happens and Moody decides to sit to guard, allowing me to come back up. I'll continue to disrespect the sport with another white belt bolo. Then my karma finally catches up to me as Moody comes back on top with a vengeance. I've never experienced this position, but I can safely say I never want to again. I quickly capture his ankle to prevent him from going to mount, but as I rotate over to recover my guard, he uses my own move against me and knee cuts right into side control. He'll then run towards my back and throws his leg over, then falls back onto an armbar. However, I escape by positioning my thumb down, disrupting the braking pressure needed to finish, and I'm able to narrowly escape the submission. We'll touch each other's feet for one last time, but the round ends before we can attempt any more dirty leg lock games. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment down below any questions or tips you have for me. I'm in the middle of packing right now to move to Seattle, so no fancy outros. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I know I fucking killed you. How are you? How many taps is that kid? I can't count that high. One, one physically, one physically, zero mentally. 20 verbally.